Right, they're not accepting calls later, so let's find the other number that I've got for them. Don't forget I was phoning them up to bin them off. Second number they got listed on the letter. Answer phone message. being recorded. Good morning. Not good news for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you said it's not all right. Um, right, my name's Paul Hobden. What other information do you need first before we go on? You need what? Just my name. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I've got an appointment here with uh, for Wednesday the 5th of April 2023. A telephone call, again, from uh, a Dr. K-A-N-D-O-L-A, consultant psychologist, over PTSD which I'm being told is cannabis sarcosis. Um, I'm sick of the messing about. I sought help for the PTSD. I've already informed my doctor that I'm binning off the organisation now because they're not addressing the PTSD and they're trying to undermine me and belittle me by saying it's cannabis sarcosis when it clearly isn't. This began when I was gassed by my neighbour, when he tried to kill me. So for that reason alone, I am binning off the council's new regulate, uh, revenue stream, which is mental health. I don't want anything to do with you people anymore. I've already told the doctor why, and I'm going to see my doctor this week. Okay? Um, there isn't any mental health problems. I'm suffering from PTSD. Yeah, I'm suffering from PTSD. There isn't any mental health problems, so please don't contact me again by phone or letter. I am cancelling all contact with your organisation. I don't want the telephone appointment or any appointments with you again. I've told my doctor I'm going to buy a book on coping with PTSD and treat myself now because I'm sick of you messing with me about. Okay, you've had four appointments so far, which you've been paid for by the government and you've done absolutely nothing but undermine me and belittle me and make me feel even worse about my PTSD. So for that reason alone, you are being cancelled out of my life. OK, so I'd like you to pass that message on to the adult locality team, please. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, it's only about cancelling all contact so you know what to do, don't you? Yeah, that's okay. I'm explaining why in a hyperactive state. Excuse me for being me. Yep. The doctors are fully aware of why. Because it was them that uh, put me in contact with you to treat the PTSD. Literally, they've been paid for what? four or five appointments so far and I've done absolutely nothing but make me feel worse about my PTSD which they're claiming doesn't even exist which is protecting the asset next door he tried to murder me yeah exactly so denying that ever happened and it's cannabis psychosis is doing what 
That's why you're being dismissed. Okay. Yep, I'll never contact you for help again. But I don't want you contacting me or coming anywhere near me. Any of these doctors. All right. I don't have any mental health issues. I suffer from PTSD from when someone tried to murder me. Yeah, sure, do whatever, however you do your system. I'm politely in a hyperactive state trying to explain the seriousness of what you've actually done to me. You've done nothing but make my situation worse. So now I'm treating myself and having to go through my doctor to get the support what I needed for it and explaining why I'm doing it this way, you know. So I will just tell you that I am recording the call as well and you are not on loudspeaker as I address you. Okay, but I will just put it on loudspeaker for a second just to prove that I am on the phone for the video I'm recording. Okay? All right, lovely. Thank you very much for your time. I'll leave you to uh, dismiss them for me. Uh, but I want no further contact with them. They failed to do anything at all about my con condition. It is not cannabis sarcosis. State that clearly. Okay, it's PTSD and I want nothing to do with you now. All right. I'm sorry to uh, talk to you like this. I don't want to ruin your day because I know you're only a receptionist. So please accept my apologies for speaking the way I have, but I'm so annoyed about it. I'm trying to take the right information from you. Yes. I've got all that written down. I'm sorry you're to write to you, but that's okay. Lovely. I'm so sorry for having to speak that way, but I had to get all this off my chest now because it's been bugging me for months. Okay. So Lovely. Thank you so much for listening. And once again, sorry for talking to you in such a manner, but right. I'm so annoyed and frustrated about it. It's unbelievable. Okay, but they're gone now out of my life. I don't want nothing to do with them ever again. I'll treat myself now. That's okay. That's fine. Okay, lovely. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Goodbye. There. So that's them fucked off. That's the asset now unprotected next door. The legal side of it's all over. I won't get bitten by the same snake twice. Now he's exposed, as are they. Because this was all under special measures, under the Investigatory Powers Act, and the council's new revenue stream through this COVID bullshit is to gather information from the distress and aggravation they've caused to people's mental health. So they caused the problem, then tried to sell me the solution. You know, it's bullshit. I'm not having any more of it. So that's them fucked off and I can now calm down about the situation. But pff, you can see, fuck them. You know what I mean? Fucking burn you cunt. <laughs> no, I haven't just set a fire in my bedroom. Or my front room, have I? But you get what I'm saying. Fucking evil bastards. That's one arm chopped off the state's octopus.